Do you love bed sharing with your baby, but you haven't quite figured out what to wear and you wake up many nights shivering or freezing cold? I'm Tiffany from CoSleepy.com and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect bed sharing top that you can wear every single night. Now, this top is going to keep you warm, keep your baby safe, and facilitate easy breastfeeding all night long. Okay, so first I gotta start with a little blurb. Please don't click out of this video if it's summer where you live right now. Whether it's winter or summer, this applies to every single parent who bed shares. Safe co-sleeping experts like James McKenna or UNICEF, they recommended keeping your room temperature low because your body heat is gonna be absorbed by your baby who's lying right against you and nursing on and off throughout the night and overheating is a risk factor for SIDS. So UNICEF actually gives a range and they say the very warmest that your bedroom should be is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 20 degrees Celsius. So 68 degrees, that's pretty cold, at least for me. Let's do this. Okay, I'm so excited. This is a maternity cardigan that I've had since I was pregnant. I recommend you get one like this because since they're compensating for the baby bump, they're a little bit longer. And that way, if you're moving throughout the night, it's not gonna ride up and you're gonna feel the cold air on the waist or your back. So I like this one because it's a little bit longer and the sleeves are longer too, which is super important. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. But find a cardigan or buy an inexpensive one that you can devote to this cause, okay? You're not gonna wear it out and about after this. This is gonna be your bed sharing cardigan. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is cut off two buttons. Okay, there we go. So here's my sweater on me. I'm going to cut off this button and this one for breastfeeding. This is the most important part, guys. You have to leave this button on. This button is super important because by it being closed all night, it's gonna keep you warm. I have a really cute pair of fleece pajamas and they sort of have like a V-neck and they button but that doesn't keep me warm because when I undo the two buttons right here because of the V-neck, it's just open. All this skin all night, it's really cold. All right, so I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna cut off those two buttons. Little tiny scissors, okay? Be careful. Okay, one down. Okay, got the other one. So, why am I taking the time and effort to cut off the buttons? Instead of just saying, unbutton them. The reason is because I know with my baby, he's an accidentally bit onto my shirt when he's trying to find a latch in the middle of the night. So, just to be extra safe, I like to take off my buttons entirely so that there's no risk for, you know, choking. And I also recommend that you regularly inspect the rest of your buttons just to make sure they're still on there nice and tight. Next, we're gonna do thumb holes. Now, I think this is super, super important for your bed sharing top. So the University of Rochester Medical Center did a study and they found that when the external temperature in the room is 70 degrees or lower, women's bodies shut off blood flow to their hands, okay? Um, this is to conserve heat for the rest of their body. So if you are listening to UNICEF or James McKenna and you've lowered your room temperature when you're bed sharing, let's say to 68, you can definitely count on your hands being cold. So I like to cut thumb holes in my cardigan. Now watch, first I'm gonna put it back on, taking off my watch and bracelets because I wouldn't be wearing those when I'm sleeping. Got a Sharpie. So I'm gonna pull this down as far as it'll comfortably go. And with my little Sharpie, I'm gonna make a little dot kind of right here where the thumb is gonna pop out. Now, if you get a cotton cardigan like me, they stretch, so it doesn't need to be perfect. It'll still work. Don't worry too much, okay? Little dot, I don't know if you can see, not a big deal. Little dot over there. Do the same thing over here where it looks like my knuckle, my little thumb's gonna pop out right there. Same thing. Okay, I'm gonna take the sweater off again. Okay, scissors. Okay, that one's done. Let's do this one. Let's see if that's good for this one. Feels good. Okay, let's see. 
buttoning. Top button, stay here. Keep me warm all night. Two buttons off. Moment of truth, okay? One thumb in, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Next one goes in. So these are great because look, my fingers are still free to, you know, change a diaper in the middle of the night, snap, zip, caress my baby's little face. I hope this has inspired something, some sort of idea for you. And you can stay more comfortable because the more comfortable you are, the longer you're going to want to bed share and bed sharing as we know is so helpful and wonderful and fulfilling for your little baby. If it's really just a matter of comfort, there's definitely things you can do. This took just a couple minutes with a Sharpie and some little scissors. Now, as always, you know, you can go to my website, cosleepy.com for a corresponding article that goes with this video with references and links and so much more good stuff. So keep that baby close and safe tonight and I will see you back here next week. That's different, that's different, that's different.